Ja. Uh, <coughs> could I get you to do a would you rather? Sure. Okay. Um, would you rather... Three options. Three, three questions, right? Uh, we might do more. Those were... I don't know. Those were kind of right, the right length. But I answered two and I probably won't have the... Uh, they will regret opposing the me. Concentration to answer because I'll I'll probably get in late right when you finish answering. Um. So would you rather? Oh, get in lane. Yeah. Oh, are you playing lead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Would you rather? Um. Play a single game of League of Legends. Against people of a random skill level, they would be somewhere around the people we uh, typically play against. So, pretty bad, but like kind of a threat, a threat to us. Um, but better than me. But better than you. Because I'm I'm the worst player ever. Because yeah. you're the worst player ever. Yeah. Uh, would you rather do that? And if you lose, um, you have to have uh, that shit from fucking Fight Club, like. Get on your hand. The same amount of it that Tyler Durden put on his hand. That fucking acid. Oh, the acid? Yeah. Okay. And then you could get it neutralized just like he did it with the same amount of time. So I think that was like... I'm just going to say... Like 30 <clears throat> seconds. Yeah, it was about half a minute that it was on his hand. Yeah. Maybe 45 seconds. We're going to we're gonna say 40, 45 we'll seconds. Say... No. 45 seconds. You can do that. Oh, yeah, because that's if you lose. that's kind of pushing a limit. Okay. And, and you'd get me on your team. Um, you'd have me on your team, and you'd have three other just fucking random people. So like we usually do. Or is it is it draft or or normal? Um, it's draft pick. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> and you don't know you don't get to know which pick you and I are. Uh, what uh, classes we're playing, or yeah, what characters? Um, and your other op so if you if you lose, you get the acid. It hurts. It really fucking hurts. Oh my god. Do I get to choose the hand? You do. Okay. Uh, so you you know you wouldn't have to lose your best hand. It would just really hurt. Uh, or. I already know the reason why I would want it on a certain hand. But okay, go. Or um. You would have to work at like the worst fucking, uh, the worst fucking McDonald's and like rat fucking infested, just drugs, drug deals going down everywhere. Uh, and it would be in like fucking inner city, um, Oakland. Inner city oh, Oakland. Detroit. Detroit's worse. Detroit. Okay. Inner city Detroit. Let's make it worse. Uh, okay. you'd have to work there. For two years, no, a year and a half. You have to work there a year and a half. A year and a half? Yeah, a year and a half. How much am I making? Minimum wage, and uh, and basically like people like put their nuts on burgers and like give it to customers and like piss all <laughs> over the but counters. I and, there? and you work there and it's horrible. So I get Every to put my nuts. I get to put my nuts on burgers? Yeah, probably probably no one would really say shit to you, but like everyone there is I would say that you probably have two people there who treat you like shit, they don't like you, and then you'd have like one person who kinda likes you because you're white pretty much. Yeah. And uh That's you'd have reverse racism. Your manager would be kinda like this stereotypical well, it wouldn't be the stereotypical white guy. It'd be more your manager would be like a forty something year old black dude who's kinda just like tired and like miserable and Fucking does uh, meth or something like that. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. He does meth and he works at McDonald's. And, uh, okay. and it, like two people hate you there because you're because you're white, and then the other ones just sort of, uh, you know, they're they're like te stupid teenagers. They some are in gangs and some aren't. Half of them are. Half of them aren't. It's a, it's, a ter it's terrible at McDonald's. There's drugs. Going in and out, and it's fucking horrible, and it's like really Did they fucking busy. Do get to taste busy. the drugs? Um, if you wanted to like 
spend your fucking paycheck or how much of it, ever much of it you could afford on that. Yeah, and you would have to live in like a shitty, scummy fucking apartment, like in the worst neighborhood for a year and a half. Be a year and a half. Year and a half. And then, or you could do the possible acid burning that would really fucking hurt. Like fucking, oh, I don't even want to imagine that. You see that shit left on his hand? Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Well, here I I actually have a quick answer for this one. So um, there's really no debate on this. What's uh, your answer? Given given my personal situations, a I I wouldn't be able to work at McDonald's because of my back. My destination is clear. So. Theoretically, if I started working there, I'd be on disability within two weeks. You would have to do it. So, I know, but I would have to be on disability because I would. I guess. Be okay, I guess I'll, I'll add something uh, in here. I guess I wasn't. I was uh, good enough on this. Um, it'll be in an alternate universe that's identical to ours, except that there's no way to get out of working there. You have to do it. You, you can't. I do not tolerate. Get out. There's no so basically, I have a good back. No, your your back is fucking shit. You would just sort of have to be in extreme pain from your back. Oh, I'd be in no, no, they, they'll give you. You know what? They'll give you some like really comfortable chair to sit in, and you just work the register. That's yeah. And I can take drugs. And you can, I guess you could spend your check on drugs if you want to, if you could afford it. I'd say you could afford it every three month, every Detroit, three or four months. If you live in Detroit, you make minimum wage. You're making more than half mo those motherfuckers. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, you could afford it every now and then, you know. Yeah, I would... I, would, I don't know. A year and a half. It'd be like yeah. Coke. It'd be like Coke and meth. Do I have to consider my age? You're the same age you are now. Same age I am now. On both scenarios. And my cats... My cats would be sufficiently taken care of. They would be your safe. Cat, your cats would be safe, and you'd be able to go back to them. They'd be... They would be a year and a half older. When you went back, and so would you. But they would be so safe. That, they wouldn't be with me, though. They would not be with you. They would be, uh, yeah. you know, doing their own thing. They'd be fine. Or we could play League of Legends. You choose. We don't know who, what we choose. We do draft. If you um, lose, you have to endure that acid pain. 45, for 45 seconds, seconds of that shit. 45 seconds. It's worse. And Imagine, like, fire on you choose the hand, yeah, yeah. Would fuck the right, hand I'm up. Choos or... I'm choosing League of Legends. I hate Renekton. Okay, you want, you want my reply? Yeah, I do. Okay. Hey, I'm getting better at League of Legends, so I'm not that bad at it. Um, even if I had to learn a new character on the fly. Okay. B. You be playing. You're way better than me. So that kind of counters acts the randomness of the dumbass that we're playing with us. So we have, I would say, probably a good 75%, yeah, 70 to 75% chance of winning. Because our win rate is about that high, I would say. So on, to, on top of that, 75% win rate. If we do lose, I would take the acid on my left hand to get rid of other scar that I have on the left hand. And then I can be cool and, like Savager slash Edward or Norton. I forget his character's name. This is his character's name. Sorry. Eh, I don't know. So I would I would take the acid burn. Because, um, so I'd rather get rid of the scar on the left, on my left hand if we lost. So there's your easy answer. Yeah. Now, do you want to hear the story behind the scar on the left of my hand that that I want to get rid of? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, Halloween, 2010, um, making out with some chick, 